Grace, mercy, and peace be upon you, flag family, friends. We have my most deepest and heartfelt uh, condolences. Words can't describe how I feel, how impacted I am and was to hear of the loss of my dear friend and sister, and the sister flag, a beautiful person, beautiful sister, always uh, joyful, always willing to help, always willing to inspire, always involved in everything, beautiful person. Only thing I can let you know is that she impacted my life. She impacted our simple uh, ministers hall family. And I'm grateful that you allowed her to be shared with the groups of us many other churches, the bookstore, authors, everywhere. And she will be greatly missed. Her legacy will live on. Uh, the memories, the laughter, they will remind me daily how blessed we were, but more importantly, how blessed you are for sharing. And to the children, to the immediate family, we, the Simply Hall Ministers Council family, we are here for you. If there's anything that we can do, say, and it's in our power, God will give us the ability. We are here for you. We love you. We're looking forward to hugging you and loving on you and encouraging you during this season of loss. Love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Keep your hand in God's hands until we meet again. God bless you. Give your name. Pastor Cole from Holy Temple Unified Free Will Baptist Church, 782 South 18th Street, in the heart of Newark. We love you and we adore you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Bless you. Go. Oh, I want to say a few words concerning Lady Flag and how a blessing she was to this ministry. I would like to give my condolences and my prayers to her spouse and her children. I understand what you're going through. I've been there. I've been where you are. Realizing that God is a mender of broken hearts and every piece of heart, your heart that has been shattered, God will put it all back together again. I am keeping you in prayer and I believe in God that he will move in your life. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to give a name for historic work. My name is Dr. Teresa Allen Johnson. I am the, uh, I am the um, author of my ministry, Strength to Exhale. Hello, I'm Pastor Geraldine Singleton Perry, New Generation Kingdom of Power. And I just wanted to say our prayers are with you. I met Lady Flag, Minister Flag, my sister from another mother through the Newark Symphony Hall Minister, Ministerial Council. And I tell you, one of the greatest people that I've ever met, the person that's most encouraging, and she is so, she's gonna be so missed, and I just, I'm lost for words. And my love for you and your family will continue on. If we could do anything for you, we are available, because we are family. God bless you and call us if you need us, amen. Greetings, I'm Pastor Louis Hoyer from the Macedonia Pentecostal Church of God, 121 Clayton Place in Newark, New Jersey. I sent out condolences to Bishop Jamat Flagg and his family. We know that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. And my brothers, we are praying for you and your family that you be strengthened and uplifted. Remember, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And the Bible tells us to comfort one another these words. God bless you. Introduce yourself. Hi, this is... Hi, I'm Pastor Bird from the Royal Priesthood Church of God here in New York. And I'm also part of the Symphony Hall Ministers Council. And um, I just would like to express my sincere condolences to you and your family. Um, I don't have words to, that, I, that I can say that would comfort you. The only thing I can say is that my prayers are with you. I love your, your mom, I love your, your wife, I love your friend. Um, just getting to know her and what I know about her, she was just such a beautiful soul. And, and I certainly would miss her, I know you will too. But just remember that she did not leave home, she simply went home. God bless you. Wait a minute now, Michelle. Uh, to uh, Bishop Flagg, on behalf of myself and the Minister's Council, 
of North Stephanie Hall, listen, our hearts go out to you. Uh, certainly your wife plays a most important and intimate part of this council. Uh, to lose her is losing half of our, almost half of our, uh, our plans, our hopes, our dreams. And, but we know that God is giving us the strength and he's giving you the strength to move forward. Uh, words are inadequate at this time. And we're, we're verklumpt. And that's an old Yiddish word for when your emotions run high, you just don't know what to say. So, you know, what can we say? No more than that. We're praying for you. We're praying for the family. Uh, victory is still in our grasp. Victory is still the hope for tomorrow. And we're praying for your strength and your continuous victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Dios le bendiga, this is Apostle Roberto Comesaño. Uh, I only knew uh, Lady Di, that was the name that, by which she was introduced for a very short time. But in that few meetings that we had, few interchanges that we were able to share together, she definitely found her way into my wife's and mine's heart. Her contagious uh, laughter, her great personality, she truly exuded love and, and, and joy and, and the presence of the Lord. And I know there's nothing I can say to take away the, the pain of, of separation, but if possible, heaven is now happier, even if earth is sadder. And we rejoice in the fact that we've got a chance to meet her and share with her, uh, even if it was just for a little while. And in that little while, she did leave a, a, a very good and blessed impression in our spirits, in our hearts, in our soul. I bless the flag family and I pray that the Lord will give you comfort in the fact that she brought joy to people in even in a very short time. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Can I make you leave your you're talking to you to speak? Bless you. Uh, okay. Bishop Bishop Flag, you, you know mind. your wife called me and sent me a text about the concert yeah. and I guess I was only with the Minister Council about maybe a month at the time. And I see how good she was working with Doc, you know, uh, with um, uh, Dr. Lewis. And she invited me to this concert on, um, in East Orange, I mean, Orange on Dodge Street. And I told her, I said, well, you know, I worked all day at the airport. And I got out and preached a little bit that day. I said, I'm only going to be here for an hour. And at that time, I didn't know the connection between you two. But she said the bishop was coming. So then when you came and you blessed us so much with music and I had told her I was only going to stay from about 5 to 7 or 8 at the most and I wound up staying to 9, 10 and didn't want to leave. And, you know, you, your family was such a blessing. And then after you sung, then the girls, they sing some songs. They sung, they, you know, they kept singing. It was a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I, I felt the spirit of God there. So I just want to say, you know, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, we love you. And, you know, anything that we can do, let us know. Uh, God bless you. Uh, Reverend Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News. Bless you.